going for. Sydney won the toss. They kicked to the left of screen. Yeah, their setup against the Crows was terrific a couple of weeks ago. The Bulldogs in Ste the forward line. Stafford and Wine, first bounce. Dent first kick. Deep to fall forward. Rowan Smith playing there, held on to free kick. A sensational. Orchard pressuring Johnson. West. Montgomery. Loves a goal. 45 out. Goes out of the man. Gets the first one of the game. Or is he missed? It's there. Darcy. Off a step. Luff in front. Can hear them coming. Oh, they come from everywhere. Grant measures it. Snaps and kicks trolley. Doggy second. Well, he's going to be a key, and number four at the other end is going to be a key, Tony Lockett. But Lockett's had two misses, Grant, one kick, one goal. Two, two to four behind. And they're doing this uh, well, the dogs, because Darcy's coming up from the forward pocket to take the ruck work. Scotty Wine is still... Goal, they lead 2-2 two, two to four behinds. Scotty Wine, terrific to Ramiro. Ramiro's kick has been well marked. Terrific football by the Bulldogs. It's Montgomery. He's on the forward end of the 50. He's kicked towards full forward. No mark, so the spills are there. Rowan Smith has kicked a miraculous goal. Well, that is just a sensational goal for the Western Bulldogs. They've kicked their third and they lead by 16 points. Yeah, great take from the middle by the Bulldogs. They have got... Hit by Dent, just hooked it at the last moment and gave the opportunity to Grant. Could nearly score. No, he goes for the pass into the pocket. It's good. And Rowan Smith is causing some problems. He and Montgomery are really running the Swans defenders around in a circle up on that full forward line for the Bulldogs. They've kicked three, two to five behinds. And Rowan Smith, the opportunity to kick the Bulldogs' fourth goal. Peter McKenna. Working to, fantastically by Terry Wallace. Smith and Cook interchanging. Uh, Smith leading up the ground. Cook going back and they're interchanging. Great forward play. Beautiful kick by Rowan Smith. He's kicked his second goal. Two goals to Rowan Smith, one each to Chris Grant and Brett Montgomery, and the Swans are still goalless. Look at the eyes darting. Pinpoint accuracy, and Mooney and Ruse unable to stop that. 21 points is the margin. As I said, Cook had a couple of chances from here. Pretty acute angle, but distance won't be a problem. 45 out, he kicks. After one of the goal and Pirate looks okay. It's there. Well, the bullies are on fire. 5-2 to five behind. Well, that is the scoreboard, folks. 5-2 to five behind. Sydney still goalless. We've got six and a half minutes left in this first turn. Trying to get away with Dyson. Kelly missed his target. And that has been the uh, name of the game so far. Liberatore. Got it back. Nicely to Johnson. Johnson sets it up beautifully. Chance here for Montgomery. Montgomery's already kicked one. Gets past. Straightens up. Brett Montgomery goes for goal. And the Bullies have got another one. Magnificent footy, Brett Montgomery. This is a wonderful start to a crucial finals game here at the MCG for the Western Bulldogs. Field has been cut up by Brad Johnson on the wing and he's uh, been benched to have a look at it. Oh, Lachlan to Dunkley again. Dunkley over the head of Mooney. Oh, a bad fumble down there by Carey. Johnson, they might get another one. Hudson goes at goal, Cook! In the square. He's had a couple of shots already. They've both been on the angle. And Peter McKenna, was that being in the right place at the right time or what? Well, it certainly was because Chris Grant was ignored on the handball then by Johnson and he was incensed and uh, the quick kick floated over the back. And Cook won't miss this one. From point blank range, Cook kicks another one. Where are the Swannies? Well, this is a fantastic start by the Western Bulldogs. 7-2 to 5 behinds for the afternoon, but I'm not sure uh, the coach would be too upset. Might be the Bulldogs first blue, uh, Gerrard. Look at O'Loughlin. Terrible play. Back to Smith. Belts it back to Cook. He's got the run in it here. Duckley fronts. What great mark. Sensational grab. 
What was Michael O'Loughlin thinking about at half-back? Well, another critical error by the Swans. Under pressure, they just haven't stood up at the present time. They haven't coped with it at all. They came into the game with perhaps a, a little bit uh, of a confidence loss. There's a great result there after a big kick from Ron Smith. Well, that's going to give Cook confidence, isn't it? Smith has been outstanding in the opening term. Well, it's, it's the length of his kick, isn't it? The forward pocket. Montgomery's hand pass missed the mark. Back to O'Brien. O'Brien's kick towards midfield. Big climb by Wine. The ground low middle is down to West. And Carey's down. Liberatore. And Cox has already kicked the goal. Got in short. Hudson. And that's Carey still on the ground as Hudson will take a shot at goal from the forward pocket. Gee, a statistic there, Jared. Scotty Wine's punch was fantastic around the middle of the ground. Yes, I think he may have taken out his opposition, uh, Ruckman, as well, which uh, would be a double whammy. For his 288th career goal, and the goal would be the Bulldogs' best ever opening quarter against Sydney South Melbourne. And he's got the goal. It is a record first quarter. What timing by Hudson. What a quarter by the Bulldogs. Trying to get into the match. Can he kick Sydney's first? It's a grubber. Luff runs onto it. Lock it on. And then he collided. Luff from 15 out. Kicks. And at last, they've got their first goal. Two minutes into the second quarter. Finally, Sydney breaking the duck. 1-5 to 9-3. Well, watch the members stand. Two number 11s and the winner of the duel is Maxfield over Curley takes a strong mark. Well done by Maxfield, he kicks it forward. It'll drop in short. Nearly the mark taken by Lewis, in goes O'Loughlin. Swan's second goal coming up, kicked by Michael O'Loughlin. All clear. Free kick paid. Yeah, look, he went to the ground with the ball and then tackled legally, so there is a, an obligation on him to then punch the ball clear quickly and he didn't do so. Johnson decides to play on. Kicks just inside 50, not a bad kick, oh it's a great kick, it's a goal! The Bullies can do no wrong. I think that was important, that the Western Bulldogs did answer the two goals from the Swans with a goal. Footy paid then, Bruce. Curley's got it for the Bulldogs, nobody on the mark. Confusion reigning, kicks to Grant, works to the front, too good. Much too good for Mooney. Turned him in. Uh, the Western Bulldogs kick one goal in the opening term. This to get the margin right out again to about what it was at quarter time. So Grant from 35 metres out, not much of an angle. Perfect. I didn't really think we'd be saying this, but the Bulldogs are too classy right now. 11. Martin just on the ground takes the mark. Goes in short for Hudson. The angle is fairly acute, but the pass was okay. But in Hawthorne's 91 Premiership side, he looked a little bit different. There he was. Until he's coaching from the boundary. Hudson from the boundary himself kicks. That's pretty good. You've dogged it, Hutto. I'll tell you what, he's not bad, is he? Doesn't he's had a lot of possessions, but by geez, dangerous around that 40 metres, 35 metres. And straight at the player. Lewis's kick round the corner. Pretty good. It's a goal from nowhere. Well, sorry about the lack of build-up, but it just sort of came out of the blue. 12 goals to three. Lewis getting the goal. Well, stranger things have happened in football that uh, you couldn't count the Swans out. We've seen a number of big leads are diminished throughout the season but you think there's a window of opportunity here they've got to get this one and maybe one or two more oh well, good kick by Stafford to goal to the Swans they're fourth they just can't quite seem to uh, make any inroads Credio and the siren sounds for half time the one thing Jared that might come out of it for Sydney is they kick the last two goals of the first half. That quarter, by the way, went for 33 minutes. It's 12-5 for 